All right, so for today I'm going to be showing you how I get things done with spaces, hyperspaces, and dock switcher, I believe it's called. Let me see what it's called here. What is this called? Let's see, open it login. Is it a website? Let's see here, yeah, dock spaces. All right, so every I've got four spaces. I want to have each space set up to be set up for a specific task. So I'm on my four space. If I move up a space, this is my I believe it's my yeah this is my web design space. Now if you notice my dock completely changed. I've got all my web design applications set up. Now if I go over, this is my default one. This is the one I start off with. It basically has all my standard, you know, everything I use normally. If I go down one, this is space three, which is my podcasting one. So I've got GarageBand, Wiretap, all my settings, all my different browsers, how I make calls, anything like that. So I'm going to go back to my first one. Now there is some lag because I am recording the screen while I'm doing this, so bear with me. And keep in mind I'm running this on a MacBook, an older one. So if you have an old machine, it's not going to be as smooth. If you have a faster machine, it's probably going to move a lot faster. And when I have this hooked up to my 24 inch screen, it can be kind of slow. But this isn't meant to, you know, I'm not switching my spaces all the time. This is meant for like, okay, I need to do a podcast. So I go boom, I switch down, go into my podcast space, and then I spend, you know, some time there. This isn't meant to be a, you know, oh, I'm in this space, I'm in this space. So let's let's first go into dock spaces. So what you basically do is you set up these different docks. What you do is you click on a new dock and it adds a dock and you drag and drop what you want in there and then you save it. Right now I'm in my four space and here you set your different spaces. It's Right now it's currently only set up to do four spaces which is kind of annoying because I want to be able to say I have more spaces. You know I want to have I want to have maybe four in a row instead of four you know, two and two. But yeah, they might add that later. Um, you can change the menu, you can change the dock hotkeys, and you can have growl notification and whatnot. I don't need all that. Why would I need growl to say, oh, I'm moving over a space when I clearly initiated that? Um, there's some advanced, advanced features you can change with the dock, and that's basically about it. And check for updates, yada, yada, yada. Let me go to the website. It is nscoding.co.uk, and that's where you can get dock spaces. Awesome application. It's completely free. Very cool. Now let's close that. Now let's go into hyperspaces. Hyperspaces is a paid application. It is $12.95. However, I think it's worth it. Um, let me see here. Now you can animate the changing of your desktop, which is really cool because right now I've got it set on... Let me see here. Space two. I don't need this. I don't want to see the labels on here. For some reason, it wants me to register, even though I have four spaces. Weird. Anyways, uh, let's see. So basically, this is what you do: is you set up your your hyperspaces. Now, this one has a lot more integration, allowing you to change multiple spaces, so it doesn't limit you to four as a square. I can do three in a row, I can do four in a row, etc. But dock spaces is limited to four like this, so I'm stuck with this. Um, you basically change your background image and for each, you know, for each background. Like say for this one, I don't know why it changed, but I don't want that. I want a different one. So I'm gonna go go in here. I'm gonna find my picture. Where's my picture? I think I passed it. Ah, here it is. Background.gif. 
and I don't want it. I want it to tile, and there we go. So I close that, and now when I go up to my dock or my space, it's going to come back. Go back down, and there you can see the nice transition effect. So basically, these two applications allow you to set specific workspaces, which is really cool because it's a different feature other than spaces. Spaces was meant to be something you can quickly move to and from. This sort of subsets different spaces. How many times can I say spaces in this video? Anyways, so that's how I use my Mac and uh, hopefully you guys can get some ideas on you know different productivity, you know how you can use it. Use spaces to your advantage. Don't forget about it. I, I remember you know, that was the coolest thing when Leopard was coming out with Spaces. I was like, oh man, I can't wait to use it. Um, and then I got it, and it's like, this is kind of lame. I'm not really using it that much. I used uh, Virtue Desktops before that. It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is this is how I use it now. So that's basically it. And uh, thanks for watching. You can, you know, I'll have the links to those files or links to those applications in the sidebar so so you can find them. So, thanks for watching.